into a college community in pain tonight. One of their own, this 20 year old student here lost to gun violence. Today, a small group gathered to pray for Jatuan Sterling at Clark Atlanta University. The sophomore baseball player was killed yesterday near the Catholic Student Center on campus. Atlanta News First reporter Zach Summers is there live tonight. Zach, this has to be tough for the entire college. Yeah, um, an emotional day for this college community. Clark Atlanta University police noticeably visible on and around campus following the killing of one of their students. Those who knew Jaton Sterling say he was a solid guy with a promising future. Tonight, a small group of believers gathering at the very spot where 20-year-old Clark Atlanta student Jaton Sterling was shot and killed Tuesday afternoon. My heart just goes out to his parents. You know, that your son came to another state to go to school. And then his life just ended. Atlanta police believe Sterling knew his killer and was shot after an argument escalated near the Catholic Center on Beckwith Street. Investigators have yet to publicly name a suspect, but Father Mark says cameras outside the center captured the murder. Be the divine consoler to his parents, his family, and our community. Sterling was a sophomore at Clark Atlanta, majoring in computer science. The Chicago native also played baseball for the university. This is tough. It's very tough. Ernest Radcliffe started coaching Sterling when he was 12 years old. The two talked on the phone just three weeks ago. He was like, man, coach, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm on the team. My grades is good. Radcliffe says Sterling was a polite and focused young man with big dreams. You know, he wanted to do a lot of stuff. Uh, he wanted to be a professional baseball player. He wanted to be, you know, in business. He wanted to start this rap career. There was never any doubt that Sterling, who Radcliffe considered a son, was going to be successful, dependable, both on and off the field. For this to happen to him is a tragic, tragic loss. Yeah, those are the cameras that capture the murder yesterday afternoon. Radcliffe says Sterling stepped up even more after he lost his father to a heart attack two years ago, helping to take care of his disabled brother. His mother, we know, did fly into Atlanta this morning. It's unclear if she plans to attend a larger vigil that's planned tonight here at 630 on campus. We're live in Atlanta. Zach Summers, Atlanta News First.